everyone, my name is Tracy Williams. I'm a Barbadian artist. I have been painting for the last 30 years. I'm a professional artist here on the island and also a golden art educator. I am here at the beautiful um, gallery, of the Car gallery of Caribbean Art, who represents me. I paint a lot of landscapes and florals and trees and I love to represent it very big and bold and oversized. I paint in the medium of acrylics and oils, but my preferred medium is acrylics. There's more diversity to the medium. I, here in, the, in these two paintings, I have um, represented Hunt's Gardens. I've been painting Hunt's Gardens recently for the mere fact that when I go there and I enter into that space, it, I'm captured by the sheer color and um, beauty of the gardens. And I, in these two paintings, I've wanted to represent that. So I put my own interpretation to it and represented some of the trees and the florals that you can, you can find there. In that, I have included the technique with pouring, where I've used, the, used liquid paint to get the textures for the trees and, and medium. And this one, for, which is um, Exora and Morning Glory, when I think of morning glory, I think of something very spiritual and it comes, it blooms in the morning. It's very soft and delicate. And this painting I want to represent in that manner to give it an overall spiritual quality and softness. And then in contrast, you have the brightness and boldness of the orange exora. This is one of my landscape pieces. And this um, is representation of um, I believe the area is called Malvern in St. John, or somewhere near Foros in St. John. And I've heightened the colors with more purples and peaches and um, pinks um, to give it a lively and interesting background rather than just um, painting it with dark greens, light greens. And um, I've put some of the um, cane arrow grass in the middle to tie back in with the colors in the background. And then this here is another landscape taken from Hunt's Nurseries. And um, I like the idea of putting the berries and having a very loose expressionist uh, effect. This one, another Hunt's in the gardens. And this time I wanted to represent the trees, the tall, when you look in the garden, the trees that are rising out of the ground of the quarry area uh, that was built in. I like the idea of the trees um, moving up into the sky area and then the flash of color below, which is what this is representing. This is another area from St. George. Um, as I live in St. George, I look out over the fields and I like to see the cane grounds and I like to see the dot of houses amounts of cane pieces. And I'm in love with this um, it's a feathery cane arrow that blooms around October, November. And sometimes they look lilac, sometimes they look red, sometimes they look bright and silvery in the light. And I wanted to capture that in my painting. These pillows are on the fauna and flora here in Barbados. Our island has a lot of tropical, beautiful flowers. And I really try and represent those kind of flowers in my work. So this one is called a jade vine. And I love the turquoise colors with the purples. And I've represented in a, a mixed media abstract um, representation. Here, I've used a pouring technique along with painting back on the canvas. And again, I've based it on the beautiful um, palm trees that we have here on the island of Barbados. Along with, um, I believe it might be a yellow puy that mm -hmm. bears at a certain time of the year. And I love how it trails and it comes amongst the trees and the palm trees especially on the west coast of Barbados, you can see the painting here is painted in um, fluid and high flow acrylics. It is the bougainvillea flower, which is an extremely beautiful, bright, colorful flower. You can get them in pinks and orange pinks and yellows and purples. And it blooms especially around the dry season. And I chose to represent this as a, an acrylic pour and really trying to, um, with the acrylic pour, trying to uh, control it so you can get all the different tones come uh, through the book and build villa petals and also trying to get that soft paper thin look 
along with um, the continuous pores on top. I have used a mixed media where I've put um, gold metal flakes here and um, this was done with a technique using acrylic flow release. This flower here is a red canna lily. Again, I like this canna lily and the type of flower it is because of the bright boldness of the color. And again, this is a controlled pouring technique where I have um, painted it in layers upon layers to get that very intense color and to get some of the soft and flowing uh, movement that you can see within the petal of the flowers. A lot of the time, the colors in the background are done intuitively. So I might not always see the full picture before I paint, but as I'm painting this, color ideas come to mind. So I might, I might feel in my head, oh, I might want to put a little gold here or some turquoise or some pink. And that's how I paint, very intuitively. And a more free flowing pour is, um, is done up here in the right corner. And then um, using blues and purples and turquoises to represent some of the, it's supposed to represent like a leaf shape in the background. So um, I had a lot of joy painting this and enjoy some of the happy accidents that have happened, let's like, say within this area. And um, when you come close up, you can see um, the different um, tones and the quality of the flow. So again, these two pieces here are taken from an area in St. George where I live. And looking at the ladies as they work amongst the fields, I like to see the, again, the colorful backdrop along with the clothing that they're wearing and I've heightened some of the colors a little bit um, to, because I, as I said, I like color, I like the layer of color aspect of um, representing that. This painting is done by building up in glazes and layers of color. And this one again, and um, Go ahead. this one here again is an area I want to show village life and people working mother and daughter going through the village to their home and um, this is what I what attracted me about this particular painting so uh, different things mean um, different situations represent mean different things to me whether it's the ladies working in the hot sun or whether it's um, the mother and child going home or whether it's the cluster of houses in the different colors or as the landscape changes the different colors and different um, it, maybe it's um, they've just mowed the field and it looks a little bit more pink or the soil is dark. So I, I like to represent those different things in my work.